Hey guys, just a PSA before we get started today. We're going to be talking about something a little bit more um, sensitive. So if you're sensitive to topics about depression and things of that nature, I'd recommend skipping this video entirely. Thank you so much and enjoy the video today. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Oswald Deer and today I got a lot of requests on my Amino asking me to talk about why I'm a furry. Well, the first thing is... I like anthropomorphic animals. I like wearing dog costumes, and I like my animals, and I just really enjoy the community behind it. But what I thought of this conversation was more or less not exactly why I'm a furry, but how I became one. I mean, I'm not going to say it all started when I became obsessed with The Lion King, because I'm still obsessed with The Lion King, but it mainly came from my need to belong. I don't have a lot of friends, I'm not very well liked in my community, and the only people I really have in my life right now are the people in this community. And at the time of me finding this community, I want to say, uh, I want to say about seventh grade, so that was that was, a, that was a good portion of years ago, but I'm about to go into college now, and now that I think about it, I think this fandom has pretty much saved my life. So I particularly started liking this fandom, I want to say after I got into, um, I actually joined the anime club at my local middle, at my middle school, and I saw someone who went by the name Tuna um, drawing something that I had never seen before, and they were drawing their persona, who at this point I don't remember, it was so many years ago, I don't remember who it was, I just know that they went by Tuna, and they were drawing a persona, and I was so fascinated with the style that they had, that I decided to look it up, and then I think I found a video of Telephone at um, Anthrocon 2014, I want to say it was. It was something in 2014, and it was a it was a video of Telephone doing something, and I just thought that was the coolest thing. Like people could be whoever they wanted to be. So when I was when I was in middle school, when I found this uh, hobby, I was very sad. I was getting over the fact that I was trans, I was struggling with my sexuality, I was being bullied at school, my home situation wasn't very good at the time because I had just come out around that time, and I was just alone. Like, I didn't have anybody, and I was greasy, I had an ugly mullet, I was just trying to find my place in life, and I repressed it because I thought that it was really weird for someone to enjoy what I enjoy. And I maybe hid the fact that I was a furry for about five years. And then I ended up coming across one of my friends at my freshman year of high school. We had a costume day and someone wore a fursuit. Now this fursuit was not very good, but I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Like, I was just so amazed that someone could do that. And so I did my research, and then I found the community. I ended up join. I ended up just following people on Instagram for a while. And for a good three and a half years, I just ghosted. I watched YouTube videos. Like, I really into Majira Strawberry. Um, I was dreaming about the day I'd be able to afford a fursuit. And then I was Baker acted in January of 2018 because of a lot of things that were happening in my life and I didn't feel like I belonged. I had nowhere to go. I had such a loving and supportive family but I just didn't want to be alive. So I ended up taking a bottle of pills but I got scared, and getting scared 
was probably the thing that saved my life. And then we went to the hospital, and I was sitting in that hospital bed, thinking about what I did wrong. And on the ambulance ride to the mental institution that I stayed at for about two weeks, I thought to myself, what am I going to do to make my life better? And I wasn't allowed at that place to uh, have any writing utensils, so I would sit and I would actually um, make my own things out of like torn up pieces of paper and I would fold them into little things and I would create things with like little models and I thought back to my first character which was a deer named Starvis Oakheart that I created um, as a reflection of me when I was in middle school and I thought in my room at this mental hospital, what is going to make me happy? And then I found, I found Oswald. And I thought about everything I needed in my life. And that's who he is. Um, I know this is a lot because I still struggle with depression. I still struggle with anxiety. And I'm still learning myself. I'm still finding my way in life. But I think what's important to know about this fandom is how it helped me personally. How it saved me from such a dark and scary place. How it got me into doing things for charity. Um, how it got me into just getting out of bed in the morning. Like this fandom is the reason why I'm alive. And that's kind of a that's kind of an interesting thing, because no one else would say that a giant dog costume saved their life. But in January 2018, I walked out of that hospital a new man. I walked out ready to start over, and that's what I did. And let's see, six months later. I'm here for you guys, starting a YouTube channel, playing with my lizards, and just having fun. Like, I'm going off to college now. I would never see, I would never have seen myself in the place that I am today without this fandom. And I just want to thank everyone so much for supporting me and giving me all these nice thoughts through my difficult time this year. Because if you follow me on my private social medias, you would know it's been a wild ride. But I guess the main thing I want to say is thank you. And the reason I'm a furry isn't because of the anthropomorphic animal aspect. While that's cool and all, I'm here for you because you're here for me. And I think that's a special thing. Because when someone's there for you, and they're 10,000 miles away through a computer screen, they still care. And the part of them that cares is the part of you that will always be a part of this world, no matter if you're here, no matter if you're not. And I think that's a pretty beautiful thing. When you, when you decide that life isn't worth living, I want you to think about that. I want you to really sit yourself down Put the pills away, put down the rope, and I want you to think about it. I want you to sit and make a list of every person that cares about you, and if you don't have anyone to put on that list, put me on that list. Put Oswald Deer, put Nicholas Young, put me on your list, because I care, and I genuinely genuinely want people to be happy. I don't really know how to explain it in any other way, but you can't really, um... Shit. Well, what I'm trying to say is don't let other people stop you from doing what you love because people love to make other people unhappy and by doing something you love, you make people not want to continue that because they don't affect you. And I'm a part of this fandom for that. I'm here for support of all of the people who don't think they have anyone. Because you do. I am always here.
thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be here next Tuesday ready for another upload. Go ahead and comment what you want me to do next. And Soren is so ready for bed. He is a sleepy boy. Say bye.